Top of the morning, top of the morning guys, it's your boy Kish, Kish my world, here with another beautiful video. Today I am in Stockholm, in Sweden here, and I'm just gonna take you on a small tour on how Stockholm is. You know, a lot of people have been saying, oh Kish, you're just traveling around the world, but you never really show us where you live, how your home city is in Stockholm. So today I had some free time and I decided I'm just gonna go around and show you guys how it is to live here in Stockholm. Right now I'm living in a place called Fasta. There's a lot of trees. Actually, if you didn't know, in Sweden it's about 70% tree capacity. So now, yeah, I'm just gonna show you around. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to share, subscribe and like this video and uh, keep supporting the channel for more awesome videos. So let's go and see how Stockholm city is going to be like today. Peace. So actually guys today i'm gonna do a different video today i'm not gonna do i'm just gonna do like a random walking video so i can show you how my city is like here in stockholm and uh, i'm gonna take the train here it's called the pendel tog and this train is gonna take me all the way to stockholm central then from there we're gonna maybe walk a bit and see how the central is we go maybe to the old town so i'm just gonna go and just show you around how it is just show you an, a random video of how it is and uh, yeah it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a fine day the weather is not looking good but it's typical of swedish summer it's a bit cloudy but at least it's not raining they had said it's gonna rain but it's not raining so the weather here is usually so up and down because yesterday was really really good weather if you saw my instagram if you're following me on instagram you saw i was outside at some party it was a really awesome weather we were dancing outside the sun was hot no jackets no nothing but at least it's still good weather it's not cold you know so now I'm gonna wait for my train and it says it's coming in nine minutes. Yes, it's coming in nine minutes. I'm gonna take the train that goes towards Mashta. If you take this train actually all the way to the end, you can come to Alanda, the airport. Yes, but now it's gonna come soon and then we're gonna just go and enjoy and see a bit of the city of Stockholm. I haven't really been there much in the, of late because I work on the south of Stockholm I live in the south of Stockholm so I barely go to the city so it's gonna be fun to see how the city has gone how it's developed and how it is so yeah so let's see how it goes see you there I'm in Gamla Stan, Gamla Stan here in uh, Stockholm, Sweden. Somebody playing some nice music there. Yes, so this is Gamla Stan. This is the old town of Stockholm, Sweden. So let's go and see how it is. It's just a small walking tour we have today. It should be fun. Yeah guys, I've arrived here in Gamla Stan, so uh, I'm just gonna walk around a bit and try and see if I can see like some of the uh, nice catch areas to see for the streets of the old town. Yeah, and just for your information, if you didn't know, Gamla Stan actually means old town. And that's why we're in the old part of uh, Stockholm here in Sweden. It's really beautiful, really nice old architecture. Yeah, it's been a long time I was here, so I'm gonna try and see if I still remember the place very well. But yeah, but let's keep seeing these beautiful places.
actually guys walking in Gamla Stan at this point of time this time of the year is very nice because there's a lot of like places to sit outside because you know Sweden is a cold country so most of the time it's usually not this warm that's why people are here enjoying sitting in the sun as you can see there's a lot of outdoor serving people just sitting look at this street here really tiny and lovely you know there's people who are living up there A cute little tunnel here And this brings us to the touristy street. I don't know if you should go this way first, maybe you should go this way down first. So yeah, you can see this is a lot of the places where the tourists come, the tourist traps, a lot of Swedish flags everywhere. You know, uh, Swedish uh, cinnamon. This one's actually very famous. Yeah, it's homemade Swedish cinnamon buns. This is like a signature of Sweden. And uh, you'll see this one a lot everywhere, Swedish Fika. And basically this is like when people come and have coffee and the ball, and the, and the Swedish cinnamon balls. So it's called a Swedish Fika. And that's why they're there. So this is the tourist area if you want to buy tourist stuff. This is it, this is it. Magnets and all the lights. Again, we come across the Swedish Fika. gonna be everywhere so basically it's coffee and cinnamon balls people always just come and eat some coffee and some cinnamon buns and that's what it's called the Swedish fika When you're here in this square, this is the square here in Damnastan, you can walk around like where this this water water pumping thing here. Uh, that's the way it goes to the palace. But I want to take you guys to this way. If you just follow uh, this corner of Burger King, you know Burger Kings are always popping up everywhere. And then you will come to this street called Yantoriet and this street of West Vestalands Garden just by the the ice cream factory here inside here in 81 you come to this really really beautiful place it's a really tiny street look at this and there's like human traffic you know people taking photos posing because it's really nice to take photos and it's really popular it's not a lot of people so this is the entrance and then you can just check how the stairs go we're gonna go all the way up that the ladies take their photos but you can be checking it out meanwhile yes. so look at this place guys it's a really 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 tiny street and you feel if you're claustrophobic like like you can basically touch the end to the end of these two walls just go up this fleet of stairs yes look at this basically you can see everything the people down there were taking photos this is how tiny it is but uh, no photos for us today we're just gonna be walking Let's see. and now we arrive to this other at least Broda Street and if you take the left then you go to the the palace but we're gonna go the other way actually around this is the name of the small street if you're coming from the opposite side
So guys, I hope you guys saw the beautiful church we were inside. The, it's called the Tiska Shirkam. Basically, it means the uh, what is this called? The German church. Yeah, so they have like the services in German. A lot of the writings and notifications are in German. I actually don't understand why it's in German or why it's like called the Tiska Shirkan. But uh, there must be a reason. You can see it from here a little bit. Really nice, like between the trees. Oh my gosh. Feels like the church is just hanging there and enjoying. But it's, it was a really beautiful structure, really beautiful building. Yeah, it's not allowed to go in there right now because they're expecting to have service in German also. But maybe next time we can be able to go in there. But for now, we're gonna keep walking a bit and seeing more of Gamla Stan here in Stockholm, Sweden. Appeared right now to the Nobel uh, Prize Museum. And if you know Nobel Prize, uh, the Nobel Prize Museum, this is like where Alfred Nobel, the guy who invented the dynamite, this is where they give the, the prizes. Remember the Peace Prize actually is usually in in Norway, yeah, but this one is for the other like, inventions like, you know, in science and technology and all these things. So this is the museum. I think we can't go in there right now because uh, it's closed on Mondays, but maybe we'll do a special video just for that one. The artist is basically drawing this structure over here. This is amazing. Like he's really capturing it as it is by freehand. That's some amazing type of art. Right here in Gamla Stan, Stockholm, Sweden. Oh my gosh. So now we're gonna go and try and find the Royal Palace here in Sturget. Sturtoget. And the Royal Palace is this way one kilometer away and then this one is Copenhagen Garden but we'll go to that later but first of all let's go and see where the royal the royal palace is and you can see the beginning hey, Stockholm is really beautiful really really beautiful especially in this summertime because it's not so cold right now the weather is nice again it's not too hot because also the sun can be really hot like it can really hit you definitely but today is not hot it's not cold then i came on a monday afternoon so it's not too many people so that we can be able to see a lot of things here and there yeah so guys now we are going to the royal palace the royal palace this huge monumental structure here in gamla stan in the old part of uh, the old town in stockholm yes and uh, you won't believe this view guys look at this now check it out that's the royal palace over there but in the way to the royal palace is this beautiful beautiful place it's funny i haven't been touring stockholm you know this is where i'm living and i haven't been able to actually come here and uh, do a video about it i've been going to other places but this beauty of this city in itself, oh my lord, this is the royal palace guys. But we're gonna go there in a while, but I just wanted to capture this amazing, amazing view from here. And hopefully encourage some people to come to Stockholm, Sweden in the summer and see how it is. Yeah, and if you check all the way back there, you can see like the water, the ocean is there. And now it's just really nice and beautiful to see it all around. The palace are still in my backside here. And there, there you can see the boats going. A lot of tourist activities. You can see the King's Guard there, but we're gonna go there on the way back. First of all, I want us to see this amazing view from here. And then see this guy on his horse. I don't know why there's always a guy a knight on a horse just like there was when i was in uh, budapest in their parliament also they had something similar to this you know my gosh so huge the 
Royal Palace or as it's called in Swedish Kungliga Slottet and here is a bodyguard this guy is just chilling there with his gun you know all day man all day yeah there must be tiring anyway this is the entrance to the royal palace the entrance here so let's just go and take a quick stroll and see how it is inside the royal palace Oh guys, look at this thing. Magnificent, magnificent. Uh, that is the treasury. And then this is like the four, the square outside here. So I think before we come out to the square, look at this beauty here. With the Swedish flag up there. I think first we are going to go and see inside here where the treasury is maybe we might find some money yeah well, let's go up here and see a little bit guys I came to the chapel of the royal palace so this is like they have their own chapel where they come to pray and uh, this is it this is the beauty of it look at all that beautiful architecture here and it is said that this architecture this beautiful thing you know this is gold plates you know everything around here it took about 60 years to construct 60 good years yeah look at the rooftop man Look at all that. Right. Think of the architecture, the time, the effort that came into building this place. Such a beauty. Such, such a beauty. Yeah, this is the official royal palace, uh, church or chapel. St. Matthew's there. Yeah, guys, this is Kish, Kish my world. And I just want to tell you right now, I'm in the royal palace here. And uh, a few things to note here. You see when the flag is up there, like now the flag is there and it's blowing in the wind. If you see that, that means that the king is home. So if the flag is raised, the king is home. And if the flag is not there, then the king has gone to attend on his duties. Of course, he does not have any political power or to do anything, but he has a responsibility to go and like represent Sweden in like some royal affairs and everything. So that's why there is still a king here. And now this uh, palace here, as you can see, it's very, very big. It's very huge, like magnificent. But uh, I've come to learn that this actually was a rebuild of it because uh, the palace before uh, burnt down. It was called Three Crowns Castle and it burned down in 1697. It was destroyed because of a fire and it had the very, very nice shape of like the Three Crowns. And you know, in Sweden, the Three Crowns is the official like you know the emblem of them so now it burned down and then they built this new structure in uh, yeah after it burned down in 1697 and now they are just gonna try and rebuild it they rebuilt it and it became this beautiful beautiful thing that we're seeing here right now bus this bus is called the ocean bus let me show you let me show you this thing this bus right now is on wheels and then later on it goes to the water it's called the ocean bus so right now it's on wheels then later on it will end up in this water here and it will become a boat so it transforms from the road to the water the road to the water we're gonna probably if we're lucky we're gonna see it soon but yeah that's just an amazing concept you know and there is one more there that is parked it's getting people in then they'll start growing seeing stuff from around from the land side and then after that they're gonna get in the water and then see stuff from, from the water side so it's gonna be interesting to see that